you have standing, Dave, give me a rest word. I don't know a great deal about it. I think it's uh, a subject that is something that we need to find out more about. Perhaps the government and the people who are pro-fracking don't really know what's going to happen to these big holes they dig in. I think the powers that be don't really want you to know what they are because they just want to go ahead and do it. Maybe they don't really want you to know about fracking. I find it quite shocking that a government would be willing to invest that amount of money in something which is ambiguous to that degree. Why do I know so much about UKIP when I don't know anything about fracking? I hadn't really heard about it before this event. I mean, you know, before people start digging holes, maybe we should, you know, know the, uh, the bottom line. There should be far more um, discussion about things that, that um, happen in our name. I think it's being pushed a lot as a transitional fuel that people are moving. We can use it to a step towards being green up, so people can say, yeah, we'll become a green. We could do that through fracking without any actual addressing of the real issue underneath, which is moving away from carbon fuels. Everything they say is not true. They want it because they want to make a problem. The main parties in our country all speak with the same voice. The colleagues uh, in North Dakota are getting payouts every month from the companies, so they're loving it uh, because generally they're not quite working class people. This part is the first thing I've heard or seen in the UK but I had heard something about it in Canada. But in other parts of America where there has practically been going on for the last five, ten years, people have been getting sick, but there's a lot of cover-up. I would assume, the reason I don't know much and why I'm in the fabulous company of most of uh, the British Isles in that regard, is that the powers that be want to keep us in the dark.